How popular are the old school Street Fighters? I'm from the minicab Croydon market era. Six credits for a pound, legendary battles on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Are those kind of fighters there? Never went to... Whoops. Sorry. I don't know how to get the... Never went to the original Hog, so looking forward to the future mark. Hats off to you, sir. And muchas gracias to you too, Fab Fabrizio. Okay, so, um, yeah, we, we have the majority of the old school Street Fighters. Even Street Fighter the movie, you know, if you fancy giving yourself a, a nauseous headache, maybe inducing vomiting, etc. Um, Super Turbo, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which you've already mentioned, does very well there. Um, you know, also Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I'm a big fan of Street Fighter Alpha 2. They're, I'm actually the best at the game as well. Um, you know, there's also Alpha 3, you know, generally most of those 2D 90s beat-em-ups we have covered. Ashley Ashmore Shaw, what will the shop feature, video games, merchandise or card game packs or all of the above? Ashley, I'd like to say all of the above, um, but again, you know, one of these things, time will tell. Um, I'd say it's pretty safe to say that if there's, if there's a demand for it, it will be provided. Richard again, would you consider sponsoring players teams later down the line when you get more successful? Absolutely, why not? It's, um, you know, it's a part of the esports culture. Um, there are many people looking to get their skills out there, etc, etc. And obviously sponsorship is an, in is an incentive. It's also good for sp uh, spreading the brand name, what we do. Yeah, I'd say that's a safe bet. Thomas, what do you think about how streaming culture and FGC streams have changed over the last year or two. Do you think it's all too official and businessy now? I think with anything, um, it can start, you know, for want of a better phrase, from the heart, very passionate, very underground, but when something reaches a certain stage and it needs to jump to the next level, um, then ultimately, you know, degrees of professionalism come in. Another example of it, it's not just games, it's you know, it's businesses. Um, a good example of that would be CEX. I mean, you would not believe how cool CEX was in 1992. I walked into the first store on the second day and it was absolutely amazing. Uh, it was so chilled, it was relaxed. You know, they had pints of beer like holding up the games on the shelves behind them, they were like smoking and being rude to the customers. Now I know, I know that sounds bad, you know, and it probably it doesn't translate into this day and age. But you can see just how CEX has changed, you know, over the over the way I just described it to now. It's evolution. Eventually, you know, if you do something well enough, bigger companies will take notice, and they're going to want to sort of push the image out there um, a lot more professionally. But at the same time, whilst not sort of, um, you know, like wrestling. I mean, if you ever watched wrestling WWE in the late 90s, early 2000s, you'll be familiar with the Attitude Era, and of course now the company is actually that big that, you know, it has to be very, very structured. Um, fighting games aren't really any different in this instance. Okay, Adam, are you looking for an extra pair of hands? No, I, I got two right here. Um, I'm not trying to cosplay Goro or anything. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Um, always looking for cash these days, boy. Well, let's talk, uh, let's talk a little bit sort of closer to the time, eh? Tyler, long time, not much. Is that a plowman's hidden behind the curtain, Mark? Dude, if there was a plowman in, plowman's in here, it would have been eaten already. Hope you've been well, heard about the new hog, and wish you good luck with all the challenges that inevitably come with any endeavours of this. See... Well, it's come this far, dude, you know, so the hard work's there. Uh, I'm not out of steam just yet, you know, still a few miles left in the old dog. Anthony, do you think you can get any Japanese, Korean, and American Street Fighter players and do a mini Evo? Uh, well, you know, um, tournaments, you know, similar to, similar to the whole Hog situation, you know, after a while, you build it, you make it grow, people will travel from further, um, and that's what we'll be aiming for. Uh, everything that we plan to do in this new building, we plan to not just write that, sit there, it's done. You know, we want to build on top of it, you know, develop a bigger audience, etc. Make the prizes more sort of attractive to people traveling from far. So yeah, you know, tournaments are an inevitability. Inevitable. Anis Mohammed Hamundi says, you beat me once, dude. Well, really? 
but only once. Oh, we must have only played one game then, right? Am I right? I'm hoping I'm not about to get seriously parred here. Fabrizio, Mark, Street Fighter 2 slash 3 Alpha Challengers on. Okay, okay. You know, I, you should know though that my, my Akuma, my Goki, is actually rank 1. Just so you know. Alright? Um, and as far as turning into this, this is commercial, good for it, because when chocolate is good for it, it's good I feel you. Um, I mean, obviously, having been gaming in central London as long as I did, um, it was pretty heartbreaking to see the arcades uh, close down. I mean, I literally grew up in Casino in Good Street, um, you know, there from sort of like age 14, pretty much, obviously not so much in the later years, but until it closed. Um, it's true that you don't really miss something uh, until it's gone. Ashley, Ashley, I'm sure. ITG UK tournament. Yeah, we held one back in two, 2000. And, no, no, it was earlier this year, 2016. Um, in late February, we had a lot of Europeans come over for that. Um, you know, there's access to sort of two, two Deddy cabs now, so yeah, there's no reason at all why this year might be a bit of a push. In fact, it probably will be, to be honest with you, but. The good thing about ITG is we both know it's a timeless game. People will still be playing it in the years to come. So, yeah, maybe 2017. Which, I miss Casino. The place had some special moments for me. I miss that place as well, um, Richard. You know, I actually, got, I actually got given a punch in the face in there once um, because I was... Uh, I ran up my chaps a little bit um, against the person who was playing in there, a lot bigger, a lot bigger than me. You know, there was a crowd watching. I won a match, and I stood up. I was like, "Yeah, we can we see, bro? You got a bang, good boy." Next thing I know, it was just like, and after that, I think I was a little bit more humble for it. Thomas Sands, does the new place have industrial-grade ventilation for <laughs> Smash Tourneys? Come on, dude. Let's not point the finger, okay? Any big group of people gathering in a confined area is going to generate body heat, you know, not to mention the amount of electricity that's going to be used. Um, the building is well ventilated, you know, you walk around there and uh, the ambience generally feels pretty good. The new premises is completely 100% open as opposed to lots of rooms darting around corners. The air will circulate a lot better, I'm sure you'll be impressed. Martin Smith, I love you for what you are doing. I used to play Third Strike on Good Street, bro. Thank you for supporting. Thank you everyone for supporting Hulk. And thank you too, dude. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, I have to admit, I never really... Uh, I think I, I sort of shied away from the... I, well, I wasn't going to the arcade as much by the time Third Strike came out. Um, I used to go there in the early 90s um, to play like Street Fighter 4 and... Street Fighter 4? Uh, <laughs> Street Fighter 2. Um, and the Alpha series, some of the early Mortal Kombat games when they used to support them. Um, it is sad, you know, but it's it's kind of nice when you meet somebody who, who understands. I mean, Casino lasted a lot longer than a lot of other arcades. Um, you know, I don't know if anybody remembers the, I doubt it, remembers the Namco Wonder Park that used to be around the corner from the Trocadero, um, which kind of went on to become Namco, Namco Station on the other side of the bridge. Um, but that was amazing. That was um, that was like uh, the most Japanese arcade over here ever. And the way that was built was um, Namco imported all the machines, obviously from Japan, and then they brought this young Japanese boy over, 15, and they left him to it. And he was like, "Okay, you put this machine here, put this machine there." That arcade was designed by a 15-year-old, and it was the best ever. You know, I think this is just a true reiteration on the fact that, you know, the younger audience are the ones who are really the most in touch with games. Heating for the winter, please. The old building was so cold. Don't worry. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll be a warm winter inside for us. Uh, Richard, I went back as far as the Dynamic League days on old. Well, you're not as old as me, dude. I remember Dynamic League. I was working in the CEX around the corner 
and they used to come in and borrow uh, borrow equipment off us. You know, uh, Derek Lynch, I believe. Yeah, not seen him for a while. I maybe I'm guessing he might have just uh, you know retired from the scene. Who knows? But yeah, um, I guess that's long enough long enough ago for you to be called old school. What would that make you? Late twenties, early thirties, something like that. Okay, Ellis. Will there be a membership plan type thing, e.g. monthly, yearly? Yes, there will, um, because obviously the, the more you commit to the heart of gaming, um, the more it will give back to you. That's the easiest way of putting that without elaborating um, exactly. But I mean, if you, um, yeah, obviously it's reflected in, in the passes that we're selling on our Indiegogo project at the moment. If you buy those passes, you know, then you end up basically getting a better deal. You're 32, Richard Hoare, I'm 32, I'm 38 in a couple of weeks, um, you're still in the younger part of your 30s, so uh, be glad. Okay. Richard Casino was the one, Mark, we're probably the same age as him, and I'm nifty with Ryu, Ken and Akuma to roll on April, ETA, right? Indeed, that is the ETA. Um, yeah, uh, bring it, dude, you know? I'll try not to. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try not to dismantle you too badly. Uh, any thoughts on Soho Arcade? None whatsoever, really. Um, I mean, I first went there again. Um, it was very different to um, what it is now, uh, from what I hear. Uh, it was filled with a lot of um, wooden, what they call the chipboard or the chip shop arcade machines. Um, on both floors and it was a mixture of fruit machines and joystick and button machines which is all the arcade really was in the early 90s until the driving games and the shooting games arrived. Um, yeah. I look forward to it Fabrizio. Uh, I, I, think, um, I think we'll have some fun. My proudest moment was when I beat Ryan Hart at Virtual Fighter. Um, I've been, uh, I've beaten Ryan a few times on, uh, on, not on Virtual Fighter, uh, that's one game I never really got into, but, um, yeah, I mean, I was, uh, I used to be, you know, we were sort of all part of a group that used to sort of roll through the arcades back in the mid-90s, mid to late 90s, um, and I remember he, uh, you know, when he won sort of the King of Fighters 96 and 97 tournament. Um, I've beaten him on 98, I've beaten him on Super Turbo, so... Mm -hmm. Okay... Whoops. Okay guys, any other hog related questions? If not... Happy to keep going, but at the same time, uh, if we're done for the day, then... Keep an eye out for us next week. As I said, uh, let's go. <laughs> Chris Rissier, how's it going, dude? Long time no see, man. I can't wait to see you playing some 3S again. Richard Hall, like you beat me at KOF 98 when I went to Hog. Did I? Richard, um, I'm going to have to look you up on Facebook in a sec to see if, uh, see if the, the face is familiar uh, or not. Most overrated retro game. Um... <laughs> um... One second. It's actually a really good fun to play, um, but for some reason it, you know, the Super Nintendo seemed to have a lot of these sort of film, TV show, tie cash-ins, and most of them were absolutely horrible. But yeah, my per personally, my most hated retro game. That's a tough one. I don't know. I I, I don't think I hate any retro games. I mean, I don't necessarily love them all, but some of them. Okay, Donkey Kong is really, really infuriating. You know. Uh, <laughs> The fact that there's no continue, you know, so you know with just these four lives, 
um, and that if you lose those lives it's going to take you forever to get back to where you potentially were on your last credit that frustrates the hell out of me but at the same time I still love it how's that uh, Harvey Beck wants to know is the hoodie you're wearing from the crowdfunding campaign um these ones, uh, this is one uh, one of a few, basically, that will be on offer. The other one, the, uh, there's another style that's viewable in the um, crowdfunding perks folder uh, in the photo section of the Heart of Gaming's Facebook page. So, you know, yeah, we will present, we'll probably present one, two, three, uh, three different options, uh, maybe in a couple of colour schemes, black, white, etc. Um, and then people can sort of choose choose from there. Sorry, did I miss you? I beg your pardon, Ruben Dario. Did I miss you out? Um, is there going to be a membership at the next hog? Absolutely yes, because again, membership is commitment, and commitment basically means we give back to you more. How are we doing, guys? No worries, Harvey. Thank you. Okay, I would say that we're all done. We're rolling up to an hour. Keep an eye out for us uh, next week. We'll be going live with more sessions as we prepare for our week at Hyper Japan. Okay, um, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And remember, support the project, spread the news, sharing is caring, and it does make a big difference, believe me. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, another question. Hi Mark, do you have any flyer or marketing type things as I love to advertise the hog as I would love to advertise the hog in the store I run? Um, at the moment, yeah, we are having some um, leaflets produced. The initial batch is going to go to Hyper Japan, um, but if you do want some, you know, hit me up in a message. We'll make sure it helps. To, uh, we'll, we'll make sure you know that we try and get some to you. Thanks, Ricky. Mark, you missed Queasy of O questions, right? Richard Hall, take care. We will meet at Alpha Two one day student discounts did I okay well in regards to student discounts again you know that all falls into the pricing scheme you know there will be more on that as um, as time progresses um, you know there will definitely be benefits in effect for showing your student ID um, what exactly that will be yet is to be predetermined um, but again keep watching the Facebook page uh, tune in and uh, yeah You'll see as soon as it's announced. Take care.